LinkedIn for students, how to create a profile. In this video, I will take you step by step on how to create your first LinkedIn profile. We're going to be using the information from our first resume and using it to fill in some of the sections on LinkedIn. If you haven't created your resume yet, check out the videos, how to write a resume for high school students or how to write a resume for college students. Once you have done that, you'll be ready to create your LinkedIn profile by using the information from your resume. Let's get started. Setting up your profile. There are a series of sections that you should fill out to complete your online professional profile. Once you have created your account by registering your email and creating your password, you can start adding information from your resume to your new LinkedIn profile. Let's take a look at our resume and the sections that we'll be using from it. Top section. Name. You can add your name here. Headline. We will copy our objective from our resume. Basically, this is what you're looking for. So, passionate marketing and business student looking to put knowledge into practice and start a career in the marketing field. Obviously, if you have another or something that you would like to add as your headline, by all means. This is just an example and one we borrowed from our resume. Role. For role, add your current position. So, customer service agent. School. I'll add bachelors from UAlbany, but you should add your latest, most advanced level of education here. Location, your city, so Schenectady, New York. Industry, select your area of interest if you're just starting out. Picture, make sure to select a professional picture of yourself to upload. Trust me, this is very important. You want your profile to stand out from others. Having a high quality picture makes a statement, so use one. Consider using a picture with good lighting, a snapshot of the face and in business attire. You want to look professional. Contact info. For more contact info, make sure to add your phone number or your email address. Featured section. For the featured section, you can upload your own portfolio or other things that you have done. Today, we're gonna to upload our resume. So you can use the same one created in the other videos. How to write a resume for high school students or how to write a resume for college students. Experience. Great. Now you've reached the experience section. Since you have already written your resume in the other following long videos, you can now copy that information here. Let's go ahead and copy it here for each position. If you've added extensive experience for each position in your resume, you won't be able to add it all here in the LinkedIn profile as there is a character limit. Let's look at how your experience from your resume will look on LinkedIn. Front counter, Burger King, February 2019 to May 2020. Provide excellent customer service to all customers by greeting them with a smile, cordially taking orders, and delivering what is requested every time. Serve customers with a smile and help guarantee a great meal experience by taking accurate orders. Assisted manager to onboard two new hires. Shadowed and trained new hires in working the front counter. Lawn care, May 2018 to present. Currently take care of four neighbors' lawns each two times a month. Constantly aim to deliver a high quality service and push for word of mouth recommendations. Acquired two new customers for my current clientele. Education. For the education section, I will address different scenarios here. If you're in college, you can add your high school with the dates and then your current college experience along with the dates. If you're still in high school, Add your high school start date and then add present. This means that you're still in high school. If you have finished high school but have not started college, add the dates that you attended high school. Great, let's look at our education here. This way it appears exactly how it'll look on LinkedIn. Bachelor's in International Relations, University of Albany, 2015 to 2019, GPA 3.9. Graduated with a 3.9 GPA, started an exchange student department and helped host 11 exchange students, participated and later led the debate team. Schenectady High School, 2011 to 2014. Licenses and certificates. Maybe you have taken some additional extracurricular courses that gave you a certificate or license. Maybe you got certified proficient in Spanish from the Instituto Cervantes 
or maybe a certificate from a club you take part in, or maybe a music club, or maybe even a first aid course you've taken. You can add a series of awards, certificates, and licenses here. This is a pretty flexible section. Also, once you're signed up with LinkedIn, you can take occasional free LinkedIn learning courses. They have a great set of courses you can take advantage of and continue your learning. Volunteer experience. Let's copy what we have from our resume for this section. City Mission, Soup Kitchen, serving dinners three hours per week to 75 plus people, 2016 to present. Salvation Army, helped box clothing to send to zones in need, 2014 to present. Mission Trip, three weeks in El Salvador helping reconstruct an orphanage after an earthquake. Worked with a team of 40 people helping lay bricks, 2012, one month. Skills. For the skills section, add things like courses, software, languages, and other skills you have. We're going to copy over the information from our resume for this. Spanish, fluent. Adobe Photoshop, proficient. Camtasia, strong user. YouTube video editing, strong. Microsoft Office, proficient. Okay, now that we have added these, as you start connecting with your network, they can endorse you for these skills. This helps make your profile more relevant especially for the skills mentioned. Recommendations. Recommendations come from other people, so we don't have anything to add here. However, once you have finished your profile, you might consider pinging one of your teachers or other people you know. Consider picking people that know of your skills, character, work ethic, and can attest to it. Recommendations go a long way. Remember, on most resumes, you're not including a recommendation letter unless requested, so most of the time, recruiters won't see the great things your recommenders have written about you. On LinkedIn, it is the opposite. Anyone who visits your profile will be able to view your recommendations. So, one more tip here. Don't just select any person to give a recommendation. Make sure it is someone who knows you well. For more information on requesting recommendation letters, check out the video in the description. Interests. You might want to follow specific companies, individuals, businessmen, businesswomen, or certain areas of work like digital marketing, product management, engineering, medicine, etc. Following these companies lets you get updates on what the company is doing, business opportunities, and even job opportunities, which is probably the most interesting for job searchers. Activity section. This shows the content that you have recently shared. If you're looking to get a job, and let's say customer service, you should consider reading reputable articles about customer service and then sharing these articles on your timeline. Just click to start a post and copy the link there. The more you share, the more your profile will get visibility and hits. Great, we have finished what we set out to do, create a LinkedIn profile by using your resume. From here, you can go ahead and start searching for your connections and adding them. Also, you can start searching for available jobs in your area or area of interest. In an upcoming video, you'll learn specific tips on how to job search with LinkedIn. If you have any questions on how to create your LinkedIn profile for students, please feel free to add a comment below. Best of luck on your job search.